Are Huskies considered to be hypoallergenic? This video will explain everything you need to know. You may already own a Husky or you're considering getting one, either way. This is a good question to be asking, so let's find out if Huskies are good, or bad, for allergy sufferers. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique guide is in the description below. What does hypoallergenic mean? It's good to clear up exactly what hypoallergenic means first before talking about it for the next several minutes. If you already know, that's great. Hypoallergenic is a term coined by the health and beauty industry to mean something that doesn't produce an allergic response. This was particularly useful for cosmetics because makeup is applied to our skin and faces. Many brands adopted the phrase stating that their product is hypoallergenic, meaning it won't cause reactions when used on your skin. Since then, many different industries now use the term hypoallergenic as you can tell with the title of this video. What is a hypoallergenic dog breed? Now is a good time to say that there is no such thing. A hypoallergenic dog breed doesn't exist. This is because all dogs will have have the ability to cause an allergic reaction, some are just far less than others. The culprit is a protein found in the saliva and urine of all dogs and cats, this protein then finds its way onto the skin and coat and stays there until it falls off as dead fur or dander. So there is really no way of fully getting around it. If you are more susceptible to allergies in general, then there will always be a chance that Fido or Felix could cause a reaction in you. So, are Huskies hypoallergenic? No, they are not, and if you suffer from a pet allergy then it's likely that a Husky would cause a reaction for you. Breeds that have short coats that do not shed are usually a better choice for pet allergy sufferers. This is quite the opposite of a Siberian Husky. The reason for this is because the dander and dead fur stay inside the coat of the short-haired dog until groomed out. Huskies, on the other hand, shed constantly this means that your floors, couch, carpets, clothes and even the air inside your home likely contain fine particles of dander. Making allergic reactions more probable. Are Huskies bad for allergy sufferers? So far, it would seem like they are. But the answer is that it depends, and it's hard to say whether all Huskies will cause reactions for everyone. Not only will it differ from husky to husky, but also from person to person. Some people are more sensitive than others and will react easier when huskies shed hair. If you don't already have a husky and you or your family member develop reactions in the presence of most dogs, then it's safe to assume that a husky would not be the best fit for your household. Signs you are allergic to your husky. Now if you already have a husky and are worried about a possible pet allergy in yourself or a family member, there are a few things to look out for. There are many different types of allergies but many of them have similar symptoms. Like with a lot of allergies, one of the first symptoms is difficulty in breathing or a stuffy nose. If it's not hay fever season and you keep noticing you're experiencing these symptoms whenever you are around your husky, you may have a pet allergy. Of course, you should always treat any symptoms seriously and this may or may not be an allergic reaction. But these are the common signs of a pet allergy. Due to the fact that our environment contains so many different allergens, it will be hard to know if it's actually your husky causing your reactions, or something else. So you will have to be aware of frequent patterns, do your symptoms only arise when you get close or interact with your husky? It will pay to do a simple test, after feeling completely fine having been in one room for a while, call your husky in to play with him, and gauge any reactions you have shortly after. Ways you can prevent your husky giving you an allergic reaction. Although you can't alter your DNA to make it so you don't suffer from allergies anymore, there are still some ways you can lessen your reactions. The first piece of advice I should give is to visit your doctor. Medication for allergies is common and well researched. Your doctor may prescribe a simple over-the-counter antihistamine as the solution. This will be a quick and easy answer to your pet allergy. Always consult your doctor first. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? 
Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.